Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I have a mixed media layout for you and I am starting off with this gorgeous pattern paper from Maggie Holmes Gather Collection called Favorite. I love this black and white check gigum and I wanted to use it but I wanted to use parts of it. I could have probably done it all on that paper but whatever you know so then I, um, I'm using the lines along the paper for my guidance and then I take a little snippet too of the corner piece so I can have this black and white element um, on my layout now I am scrapping a picture of me and in, in front of my car and I'm wearing LuLaRoe leggings and if you don't know about LuLaRoe leggings they are some of the softest leggings ever and I am recently going to be uh, joining and becoming a LuLaRoe consultant. I actually onboarded yesterday, believe it or not, when this video goes up. So I am just scrapping photos that I have been posting on my, um, on my Instagram feed. And so I also just like the picture. It was kind of also documenting, you know, um, my car that I have at the moment too, you know, things that we forget to kind of document. So I wanted to kind of print this one and use it. So then I have these die cuts that I got off of the Silhouette Design Store and I am spraying them down with my famous and favorite Dilution uh, Spray Mist inks. And I'm using Bubblegum Pink. Uh, that one is London Blue. I have Vibrant Turquoise. You saw me use Crushed Grape. And then I do take out one now and I will be uh, doing the squeezed orange also. So my idea for my layout is because if you saw my leggings, they have a yellow background and all of these big bold flowers. So in essence, I am trying to recreate these and it comes out really, really well actually. I kind of like the way it looks. Um, so I do let these dry and I don't get, don't get me wrong, I had these, as you can plainly see, sopping wet. <laughs> so I let them dry for a little bit of time on some paper towel and that did the trick uh, quite nicely. So all of these flowers are just kind of taking a little drying, drying session on paper towel after I got them really, really wet. I also cut some leaves out and now I'm going to use fresh lime and then that's vibrant turquoise for kind of the two tones that it is. And actually when you sopping, when you make them sopping wet, they actually blend beautifully instead of just having like mist colors. But of course I get it all over my desk too. <laughs> Next, um, in order to create the yellow, this is the Dilutions paint in, um, what is it called? Squeezed lemonade or lemon zest. One of the two. I know it's two ranger names. <laughs> so I am making sure that the edges are a little bit messy just because I have the yellow there. Now it would have worked good too if I had yellow cardstock, but I don't think I had this bright yellow. So I went ahead and painted it using Dilution paints from Ranger as well. Um, if you've been a fan of my channel, you know that I'm obsessed with all things Dilution. I just love the bright, bold colors. So I get to placing all of my flowers, and I'm kind of being random. And at this point, I'm not going to lie, they were sort of wet still. So some of the yellow paint does get smudged with some color from these paper flowers. But it's not the end of the world, and you do see me kind of favoring the kind of cluster of flowers on this bottom right corner, but you'll see on the final layout, I actually switch corners to the top left. I don't know why, because after I was playing around with my title, I thought it looked better to have the title below the picture. So I'm going ahead and just kind of figuring out, and I felt like I needed one more flower, so honestly, I, I cut, whenever I cut with my silhouette, I make many, many, many. So that way I have extras to use on another layout, so it was easy for me to just add one more. I go in now with my fine liner in order to kind of start liking where these are all placed. And I do remove my <laughs> picture because it was getting dirty. And you can see I kind of have smudges on the yellow again. I made sure they overlap semi and not too much and then really took it from there. So in essence, I recreated the leggings from LuLaRoe and my title will be the Lula Love. I will leave links below if you're interested at all in kind of trying out some of the LuLaRoe leggings. Like I said, I am a consultant now, so I'll leave a link down below to my Facebook group. And thank you once again for joining me. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you like details, follow me over at my blog at lifewithevie.com. Thanks again, everyone. Have a good day. Bye.